Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how to use the IC CD4049. So let's get started. CD4049 It is not get IC CMOS IC It has 16 pins Pin 1 is VCC and pin 8 is ground. We can apply from plus 3 volt to plus 20 volt. Pin 16 and pin 13 are no connection pin. They are useless. It has 6 not get. Pin 2 is output and pin 3 is input. So get will work from this way, like this, okay, 9 to 10, 11 to 12, 14 to 15. If you provide A in the input, then the output will be A inverse. If B is input, then B inverse will be output. So in this way, the IC will work. In the breadboard, we will see only get one. Here we have get one. Its input is pin number three and output is pin number two. And its truth table is A is input and Y is the output. Y equal to A inverse. If 0 is input, then 1 will be output. If 1 is input, then 0 will be output. To provide input to pin number 3, we will use a push button switch or any kind of push pull switch. In the other side of the switch, we will provide signal high and to see the output, we will use a resistor and an LED and the negative pin of the LED will be connected to the ground. The value of the resistor will be 220 ohms and to see the input we also use a resistor and an LED. Theoretically the circuit is correct but practically we have to use pull down resistor and it is connected to input. The value of the pull down resistor will be 10 kilo ohms. And I already explained why should we use pull down resistor with the logic IC link in the description below. And with the power supply that is with pin number 1 I'll use plus 5 volt and ground as it is pin number 8 I'll connect it to the ground. So this will be our breadboard connection. This one is IC4049. Pin number 1 is connected to the plus VCC, pin number 8 is connected to the ground, here is our input switch, one pin of the switch is connected to the plus VCC and the other pin of the switch is connected to the pin number 3 as pin number 3 is the input. And with the input we have to connect pull down resistor, here it is 10 kilo ohms resistor. And in the same side we are connecting the LED. The negative pin of the LED is connected to the ground. Pin number 2 is output and I am connecting it here. Positive pin of the LED is connected with this and negative pin is connected to the ground. Connecting both the positive and negative rails. So this is how we have completed our connection. Now I am connecting plus 5 volt as power supply. Here is the negative and the positive. When input is 0, we should get the output. We are getting the output. And when input is 1, the output is 0. So in this way, this IC works. Thanks for watching.